What is up ladies and gents, it's uh, Guitars562 with a guide on how to clear the Island of Terror. Now this boss is not the same as the Tyrants, but it, it is similar. First tip, Tank will be aggroing the boss, but remember that he hits extremely harder than, than the normal dungeon. He will shoot four fireballs, and after the fourth one, he will stun the tank guaranteed. So if you have a party member that can cleanse, such as a longwell user with Purify, not Nature's Blessing, Purify, you can allow the tank to free himself so he can block the next mechanic. If you don't, he will have to eat the heavy attack, and unless your tank has 15,000 HP, it will be cutting it close to not get killed every single time. Second mech, he will do a pulsing heavy attack. When you see this pulse, it means you can do a normal block or a movement block. If you don't already know, if you stand still and block, it creates a stationary block. But if, if you press any directional key and block, it will create a movement block, which is good to know for the next mechanic. A fun tip I do for myself is I count to three, then block after the pulses stop. Third mechanic, you will see a diamond or square purple heavy attack, and you cannot do a stationary block, otherwise you will get hit. You need to do a movement block, but know this as well. Anytime you do a movement block or a stationary block, immediately do your retaliation attack otherwise if you have to block again you will not be able to instead if tank loses aggro for whatever reason he will do consistent heavy attacks back to back and there's nothing you can do but block and if you don't burn your counter move you will try to block again instinctively and then unfortunately it will do a counter instead of block and you will get hit otherwise without 10,000 hp you're probably going to die fourth mechanic he will repeat the stationary block for you to do in fireball sequence this is where it gets a little complex for the fourth mechanic there are three fireballs that land randomly to control the rng all players need to stand near a vent so the fireball lands into the vent that doesn't mean get hit by the fireball but stand there morphed and ready to run out the second you see the fireball this is for players that have good ping or are comfortable dodging However, if you have terrible luck or low HP, you can wait for the fireball to land and then run into the fire to get a simple burn stack. You see the fireball or burn stack is necessary because the vent will be covered up in smoke. You use the burn or fireball to clear the vents, allowing you to use the geyser for the fifth mechanic. If you do not clear the vents, you will not be able to see the geyser. And if you have the geyser mech, you will not be able to use it if it chooses the geyser that's in the smoke. Even if it's partially cleansed, it needs to be fully cleansed. How do you clear the vent with burn stacks? Easy. Just run over the flame and careful not to linger because you can go from one burn stack to three more quickly and it only lasts six seconds. So use the seconds to run around vents to clear, but be mindful because after fireballs, the boss will do another heavy attack. So to keep your eye on the boss and be ready while cleansing. After the fireball mechanic, lizards will spawn. Personally, in my group after fireballs, we stack mid or center of boss to bunch up the lizards and kill the adds with AOE moves and use the wand user's area of effect heal so no damage is really taken. After two heavy attacks, the boss will go into geysers. Important information to note is that after the second block, if he does hit you, you will have a movement speed debuff if you survive. So try not to get hit because if you do and you have that debuff, you will try to run to geysers with a movement speed reduction that will make it tough and completely impossible. It's possible, but unlikely. Moving on to the fifth mechanic, geysers. You have to go to the chosen geyser that is bubbling. I repeat, if any geyser that is chosen is not cleansed, the vent will not work and it's a game wipe. If you do clear, it will be the same as before and then you go back to DPS. The only difference is there will only be one vent that works. After two more heavy attacks, after the geysers, the boss will go into the hardest phase, the sixth mechanic, which is the rat phase. This phase is by far the hardest mechanic because of timing. For North American players, ping will be your worst nightmare here. Do not run out of the circle. Do not dig right away because you will be stunned. Do not run to cleanse right away because it will cause a wipe as you see here. Do not try to pass the orbs because if you get hit by one, you get hit by a fear that lasts a long time. What you actually do is run a slight distance away to space away from each other to clearly see who is going to be aggroed by the boss and everyone will have to eat the first initial hit. The boss will do a shockwave causing around, depending on your defense, it can either hit for 2,500, 3,000 or more. The point is it will do a shock hit, it will stun you and hit you with a movement speed debuff that lasts about 20 seconds. After the boss hits everyone, the boss will target a rat. Everyone needs to be above ground for this to work. Nobody needs to be at all in the ground whatsoever. As the boss goes to bite the first person, that person needs to dig as he bites too late and he eats you. 
so it needs to be perfect. He will continue to do this in sequence to the other nearby rats that are above ground until everyone has successfully digged or dug. He will keep doing this. Once everyone has successfully dug, he will have a temporary stun allowing players to go to their plant to cleanse. This is the only way you can beat this mechanic. Credit to Welps for this clip as we could not manage to get the timing done in my group. That's the whole dungeon. It's rinse and repeat from that point on. It's difficult and I'm sure it will be nerfed eventually. I love how hard it is, but I know the average player will not be able to clear this dungeon currently. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. And please hit that subscribe button or drop a comment if this helped you in any way, shape, or form. As always, guys, stay blessed.